What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we have got my first team of the season player review. It is Ho, and <laughs> that sounds weird saying it. That's the name that is on his card. I believe his full name is Kion Ho Lee and it's abbreviated down to Ho because there's so many players called Lee I think so. I think it's just easier to say that. I'm, I'm pretty certain on Foothead it is just Ho but on the card here you see it's Kion Ho Lee. He is a left winger who plays in the K League. I'm not even going to try and say the name of the club. Let's have a go anyway. You saying Hyundai or something like that? I'm not sure. We're looking at his in-game stats now. You did see the two teams that I did use him in. The first team I kind of sacked off because it was rubbish. So dribbling is 84, which is probably the main stat here. I think it's the only green one. He's got some good shooting stats. He's got good shot power, good shot passing, uh, good long passing, good shot long got good long shots as well <laughs> we've had a brain fart there uh, his volleys aren't very good though um i actually scored a wonderful volley with him you're going to see it later on uh, as you can see here there is a huge problem in the fact that he hasn't got four stats kill mode so some of you guys who like skills aren't going to like it but a lot of you pace are going to see this page you think wow a 96 acceleration and 94 sprint speed um which oh god it's so deadly honestly he's he's brilliant on a left wing but sometimes i just feel as though he's meant to be a striker on the left wing i've got a few shots here i wanted to outline a few of his bad points one of them which is the weak foot every time he's on his left foot for some reason he just does not score i didn't score a single goal of his weak foot scores some headers scores some right foot goals and we're going to get into some of those goals now um the reason I'm saying I think he is a striker on a left wing is because he seems to just have a great shot on him. He's really quick, which I can understand that's why he's on a wing, but he's very tall and he's actually quite strong and that's why I think he should be a central um, attacker rather than a winger because he's dribbling, and although it is his best stat, isn't actually that great. It feels like he's very clumsy. I, I'm not aware of what his first touch stat is, but he can't be that great. Every time I seem to have him on the wing, he takes a bad touch and the ball gets away from him. It, I mean, it's good to have that 93 pace to back that up, but it is just really irritating when he takes a bad touch. And this is why I think he should be a striker. He's just perfect at finishing. I mean, I scored so many goals with him. I scored a few headers with him. A lot of the shots, I do admit, they probably could have gone in, but maybe that was bad shooting on my part. I don't know, but I mean, even his long shots aren't too bad. They're dipping. I mean, I, you get some players where the long shots are just like a laser beam straight to the top corner this guy's are the dipped kind of long shots and if you play feed for a lot you'll know what i mean this is nice though a little a little cut on the inside goal that's another good thing about this player i forgot to mention he is actually right footed he's got four star weight foot as well uh, no four star yeah he's got four star weight foot it doesn't feel like four star though because it's one of his worst features i'd say um yeah he's on the left hand side and he's right footed which is brilliant for everybody who likes to cut inside and shoot it really does work all you have to do is a step over cut on the inside maybe take one of the touches it might go a bit wrong but sometimes when you have the bad touch and it knocks it a bit further when you take your your shot off that it can actually generate more power same as when you use the right analog stick to flick it forward it actually leaves it actually knocks the ball further and you can proper ping it like with loads of power you actually saw some of his headed goals there and he's actually not that tall i think he's five foot nine but he feels he feels quite good at heading but this is the deadly combo i'm talking about it's pace passing and crossing although he can just if you do the Y or triangle through ball past the, their right back, he will beat them to the ball 10 times out of 10. He's so fast off the mark. Um, there is a few examples here where the ball just gets rolled into the little pocket of space between the goalkeeper and between the right back. This is a perfect example here. Gets rolled in. And I understand the left back's not there, but he's so fast to pounce on it. And I scored quite a lot of goals from his crosses. Um, I... Uh, I would definitely give this guy probably a 7 out of 10. I am going to admit he is a little bit average. He's not the best of players. And I did actually get him out of a pack. So I can't actually tell you his price. I should research into that. If you look in the bottom right corner. There should be a pre-made um, kind of video overlay. I'll find out the price and I'll stick it on there. But... I would probably just to buy justify paying around eighty thousand for him. I think I had a look earlier and he was about one hundred and forty. That was when I first got him though, so the price very may well have dropped because he's in an awkward league and he's an awkward player to be honest with you. He's he's one of these hit and miss players. You either have to love him or hate him. And if you like these types of players, then I think you are going to enjoy him. Um, anyway, guys, that is the end of the review. It hasn't gone as long as I wanted it to. I played about 
nine games with this guy. I think I scored eight goals, which isn't that much of a bad record, to be honest. Um, so you can actually tell that I haven't rushed this, and I do like to make sure I do these reviews properly before I upload. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you are new to the channel, remember to leave a like, comment, and always, as always, subscribe. Thank you.